This week's episode of Drink of the Week is brought to you by alcohol, the solution to and cause of so many of life's problems. I need to come up with a different tagline. I was just <laughs> ways to do that today. Why do we need taglines? We're a, we're a podcast. We got to have taglines. We need we need stuff to put on merch. What are you talking just, about? Oh, by just the like way, pro wrestling needs stories. We yeah, need go, over, go over to our pro we're wrestling. We're not taglines. Team. <laughs> Go over to our Pro Wrestling Tea store, prowrestlingtees.com slash dumbmarkspod with 20% off our merch right now running through uh, today. Uh, more minutes. Last day of the sale. So, <laughs> drink um, of the week, stand and deliver. Drink of the week is Gots the Goose? Ghost? Gots the Ghost. ghost. <laughs> Gots the Ghost. It's a fruity ghost, 4.5% alcohol. Oh, man. This, this was Donald's pick. This is from Grist House, uh, which is a, a microbrewery here in Pittsburgh, PA. Um, I've been there once. We'll never go back there again. We can tell that story at a different time. It was a bachelor party. There was a microburst. I thought I was going to die. We can deep dive into all that right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so 4.5% alcohol. Don, way to, pay, way to pick a um, – I'm going to need 16 of these to get drunk. Hey, I don't drink to get drunk anymore. I just drink the drink. Socially. So there, there mm -hmm. is this can is interesting. It's a little little pink. Uh, got some hot air balloons on it. Um, I have no idea what to expect with this. I, I don't know with a with a ghost or a goose or goss is. Um, yeah, same either. Yeah. Uh, a friend from college recommended this to me. Uh, oh, so said, we can no, shit all over, we can shit all over their take if this isn't good, then right? <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Don't really know if I'm liking the smell of this. Yeah, Maybe she said this is. Yes, yeah, she said that this is her favorite from this uh, brewery. So, Grist House got the Grist House got some good stuff. I, you know, they they do they do have some good stuff. So, all right, well, gentlemen, um, pour it up, take a sip, and then we'll we'll break it down here. It's got an interesting color to it. It's like whenever it poured out, it's kind of selling in, but it kind of looked like the can. Mm. That grapefruit, grapefruit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't do grapefruit. A little more sugar that I'd bang with this. No, I'm, I'm gonna give that a one for me. Uh, that's terrible. It's drinkable. I no, like that's it. oh no. Like the after it. oh no, I'm just getting straight grapefruit. Oh, no, uh -huh. I like grapefruit, but I don't know if I like it. In like necessarily like that yeah. for the beer. Don't no, that, spin. Your taste is terrible, but it's the best I've had on this show. Uh, you're <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> no, no, that's a one for me. I don't have nothing else to say. We do, can, do you just not like grapefruit? or I don't like grapefruit. Okay. I was going to say, there's a Blockhouse Brewing. They have a summer break that's going to be coming out. It's seasonal every year for the summertime. It's kind of like a grapefruit shandy, like a citrus shandy. It's not bad, but if you don't like grapefruit, then yeah. No, I'll, I'll pass on grapefruit. I'll um, I don't like grapefruit either. And as soon as I drank it, it reminded me of that um, that sour, that sour beer I had. Probably, yeah. I give this a one. Also, it's it, it's not my take. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I like grapefruit, so I don't. It's not that I hate it. I like it. I just don't know if it works for this. Like I agree, it kind of has a sour taste. Mm -hmm. It's it's different. It's I don't know what the style of beer is. I've never had a ghost goose, whatever the hell this is. You know, I'm not not sure what that's all about, but I don't know. I'm not sure what I what I want to give this yet because I, I don't completely hate it, but it doesn't work at the same time. So Jay, I'll, I'll go consistent with you guys. I'll give it a one. Jay, what do you got? I'm going to go with a three. I like this beer. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Does it have no 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 trash ass aftertaste? I probably won't be smelling this in the morning. Are you sure you're not tasting Twizzlers right now? <laughs> <laughs> if it had another flavor, it's, it's, it's sour, but it's not too sour. And it's mm -hmm. drinkable. I'm going to go with a three. 
and I'll pass on this. Good recommendation, uh, Donald's friend. No, no this, is a, this, is a hard, this is a this is a big fail, swing and a miss for me here. Um, before before we go into the into the cheers and toast for the segment this week, I saw for those of you that love and drink white claws, we won't do white claws on this show. Not that, not because I don't like them. It's just you know everybody drinks them, so there's no point in reviewing it. Like no. you know what a white claw tastes mm-hmm. like. Uh, but white claw yeah. announced. You white claw, white claw announced uh, that it has a new sub brand <laughs> called Surge. And it steps up the alcohol from five percent to eight percent. No, so unless it actually tastes like Surge Cola. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's it's only one. It's just, there's only one Surge in the world. <laughs> it's just called Surge. Okay, so it's it's eight percent alcohol instead of five. Um, and the the two flavors that they have announced right now are cranberry and blood orange. Yeah, give me alcoholic Surge, and then we can talk. <laughs> So that so for all you white claw drinkers, you got you got uh, more alcohol coming your way for your spiked water. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I drink white. I I've drank white claws before. I'm not above a white claw. I'll I'll drink. I like white claws more than Trulies. You have terrible taste. So, well, you put Crystal Light in beer, so you have no room to talk. You because I like taste. <laughs> if you like this beer that we just reviewed here, that 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 just goes to show I you. Put some no uh, some Crystal Light in this. If you put crystal light in the beer, it's not the beer you like. <laughs> <laughs> crystal light is trash. I can't believe you're mixing something with crystal light. Oh, you probably drink Kool Aid. Not anymore. When I was a kid, I drank Kool Aid. Oh, yeah, but you haven't stepped your game up. All right. Well, this is an alcoholic segment, not a non-alcoholic segment. We'll, we'll debate the garbageness that is Crystal Light at a different point in time. So, um, with with all that being said, uh, three ones and a three for the. Gots the goose. Uh, from grand Chris total House. of six. Well, that's a hard pass. Um, but like always, we ask that you raise your cups, bottles, cans, shot glasses, brown paper bags, red or blue solo cups, and to good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the seas. The best ships are friendships, and friends will always be. So, cheers. not cheers in that beer.